With heavy snowfall can come power outages. 27 First News reporter Brittany Bissell talked to Red Cross about how to prepare your home just in case. She continues our coverage tonight with a live report. Well, Red Cross has already been in touch with local emergency management agencies just in case people in the valley would lose power this weekend. Now, I'm told Red Cross is always ready to work with those other organizations to open shelters for anyone who needs them. They also say make sure your electronics are fully charged, get enough food and water for a couple days, and emergency preparedness kits. There's also a few things to keep in mind as far as safety during an outage. Never use generators inside your home. Always use those outside of the home and run a cord into your house from the outside. Uh, any kind of fuel burning things, you want to make sure those are ventilated to the outside, that those don't, because carbon monoxide is very serious and very dangerous. Papini says if you're using space heaters, make sure to keep them at least three feet away from curtains or anything flammable and keep your pets inside during the weather. Now, Papini also says that the amount of snow that we get could pose a problem to those people who may need to travel to those shelters if we would lose power. So she said as far as locations, they're looking at those heavily traveled roads, the roads that snow plows would be taking care of first to be a destination to open those shelters so that if people would need to get there. It would be just a little bit easier. Reporting live in Boardman tonight, Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.